is Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to share with you my recipe for veal scalopini and you can make the same recipe with chicken or like really pound it thinly or you can use some steak or you can use some pork or you can use some fish but traditionally I've always eaten it uh, with veal so I wanted to share this recipe with you. Uh, it's so simple and easy I make it exactly the same way my mother did growing up and I just I just love it and it's very simple which I'm, sh I'm surprised I haven't shared this recipe with you before since these are Typical Italian sort of lard in the kitchen ingredients that I always seem to have on hand besides the veal of course which is the star ingredient. You're going to need just some veal that's been pounded thinly and you'll find this called scalopini style which is really really thin and that's what you're looking for. Uh, you're going to need some all purpose flour, unsalted butter, a little bit of white wine, some pinot grigio, you're going to need some parsley, finely chopped, some lemon, salt and pepper. That's it. It's so easy and simple, it comes together in less than 10 minutes and it is so good. Okay, what I have here is a skillet. I have it preheating over about medium high heat. And to my skillet, I'm going to add my butter. Now, normally I cook everything in pretty much olive oil, but, and I know this looks like a lot of butter, but you need it. It's kind of crucial. And this butter is going to melt and it's going to get a lovely, sort of toasted, golden brown color. And that's what you're looking for. So, while that's happening, let's get my veal closer to me. I'm going to season it with salt and pepper. And I'm going to dredge it in the flour. It's going to happen. This cooks so incredibly fast. I mean, you can see, as you can see, the veal is so, so thin that it doesn't ne need a ton of time to cook either. Everything happens in one pan. It's a beautiful thing. Serve it alongside a green salad and a baguette, and you have a 10 minute dinner on the table. That is always, that's always a good thing, especially weeknight. You need those kind of dinners. All right, my butter is getting nice and toasty and brown. I'm going to take my veal. I'm going to dredge it in some flour. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you just want to make sure you shake off any excess. And you put that into your brown butter. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with these two, and I'm going to let them cook for one minute on each side. And I've turned the heat up to about high now because you want this to cook fast, and you want it to do it, you know, it needs to cook fast. Okay, let's see if I can fit one more right over there. I'm pushing it, but that's okay. I'm living on the edge. Taking my scalopini out. These cooked for one minute on each side. That is it. They're very, very thin, and you want to keep them super tender. So I'll take them off to a plate. To the half skillet, add in a splash of white wine. I'm using a Pinot Grigio. That's my go-to wine when it comes to cooking. You just love it. It's now sweet. Let that reduce a little bit, and as that happens, I'm just gonna season that a little bit with the salt and pepper. I mean, how simple is this? If it gets any easier, I'd like to know because I don't think again. Little pinch of parsley. Give that a good stir. Get all those bits and pieces off the bottom of the pan. A little squeeze of lemon. I do it on my fingers to catch the seeds. Even though most of the time the seeds always end up in there anyway. I'll try. That's it. Now I've seen I've seen scalopini done a lot of different ways. I've seen it where it's made with veggies. I've seen it where it's made with capers. This is just the traditional way I'm used to eating it. When I was a kid, this is the way my mother made it, and this is the way I will always make it. There's no need to improve on this. Let's give this a bite, shall we? Oh, yes. I'm gonna get some of that sauce. Mm. I think my mommy would be very proud. It's so easy and simple. Absolutely delicious, childhood favorite. That did not take 10 minutes whatsoever, not even five minutes if you ask me. Go to lauraineekitchen.com to get the written recipe. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Let me know down below what were some of your childhood favorites that you would like to see me make here in Lauraine in the Kitchen. I'm always up for a challenge. I'll see you guys soon, bye-bye.